Okay, so it. there it is, savoury flapjack. Um, someone asked me once in the cafe, did we do anything breakfast in? I said, no, but then I thought about that. So what we came up with, I came up with, was I got a loaf tin, lined it, made a bit more mixture than this, but did exactly the same way, and put a layer of flapjack, got some vegetarian or vegan sausages, depending on what I was doing, sliced those long ways, pop them in a layer, put some more flapjack, then some boiled eggs sliced, and if it wasn't, if it was vegan, leave that out, put something else in. And then a bit more flapjack, then more sausage, then more egg, etc. So you've got this layered effect. Cook pressed it, which you've seen now how to do. And that was great. Sliced like a dream, served it with some homemade apple chutney, and it worked really well. And that was enjoyed by many people like myself who don't really go in for anything sweet, apart from a bit of sugar in my tea. Uh, it makes a change. And surprisingly it works. We had, when we shut, this lady rang up from Cardiff and ordered three um, Stilton ones um, because I did give the recipe as well because people loved it down there. Hey ho. So there we are. Um, coming up soon, of course, are some more things. Um, which we'll tell you all about. And one of the main things will be three or four different Indian breads um, to have with curries and dals. They're dead easy. It just makes a change from um, chapatis and naan breads, but they're all very good. So we'll be showing those soon, and plus a few more things, well, a load more things probably. Bye!